He was suffragette, Mrs. Ellen. Yes, but I consider myself more of a soldier. I'd wanted to do a film about the suffragettes for years. Here were a group of women fighting inequality, turning to acts of civil disobedience to achieve it. Guns for women! It all felt incredibly exciting and resonant. We meet Mondays and Thursdays if you're interested. There's always a responsibility in making a film about real events. It's important to Sarah that the message translates to the modern audience. As Mrs. Panker says, it's deeds, not words, that will get us the vote. Sarah's main focus is integrity. Her main focus is telling a real story about real people. So you never feel like you're in a film. I'm that. <laughs> she just wants truth. We didn't want to make a biopic. We were interested in telling the story of the working woman. I'll come with you tomorrow. I loved Sarah from the first day that I met her. She's collaborative, everyone has a say, everyone gets to voice an opinion on a line or a scene, but she has a very clear idea of what she wants. There's a big gathering on Friday. They're saying she's to speak. For 50 years, we have labored peacefully to secure the vote for women. Sarah Gavron is so respectful as a director of the process that actors go through. This is a deliberate escalation. Punish those responsible. In whatever way you can. No, no, no. Mama! We wanted to tell a personal story. We wanted the audience to connect with a character. And it meant that we could make something very accessible. And also makes you look around the world now to embrace how important change is and to fight for change. You might lose your life before this is over. But We're in every home, we're half the human race, you can't stop us all. And we will win. I take my love, take it down. Never surrender. Never give up the fight. 